Hey, what you doing, Rob? I've been noticing you've been out mowing in December. Well, yeah, I know. That probably looks kind of crazy, doesn't it? What I'm actually doing is clearing hay tracks. Well, what's that mean? Oh, so what I'm doing is I'm taking this 15-foot mower and I'm mowing back and forth over these large tracts of grasslands. But I have to be looking out for limbs or rocks or wire or even sometimes bones. And every once in a while I run into a tree stump that I need to pull out. All in an effort to make this as smooth and clean as possible so our tenants can hay these tracks. Why? Because it doesn't seem right, does it? We're on a preserve and we're haying grasslands. Well, if it's done right and done at the right time of year, haying can actually benefit wildlife. So what we're doing here is we're haying in late summer. So most of the grassland birds have already nested and, there, and there's not a problem with us haying these areas. But what we're trying to do is create short grass habitat because shorebirds really like short grass habitat. And so we can get shorebirds coming through here during fall migration that will use these areas. And if it's still short in the spring, they'll use these areas in the spring. Now what's really neat is that there's shorebirds that will use these areas when it's dry like it is right now, such as American golden plovers, upland sandpipers, and keel deer. But believe it or not, these sites can be really wet when the rains come at the right time. So what we're standing in right now can be standing water with short vegetation, which shorebirds love. I've also noticed that there are a lot of brush piles around. What are, what are those from? Oh, so at one time, these grasslands were covered with trees scattered around, but most of them were in this Blood Creek or Shop Creek drainage. And they were so thick in the Blood Creek drainage that water would be held back. And so water was not getting down to the wetlands. Also, if it rains a lot, this water would back up onto our neighbors, and we didn't want that. But most importantly, the birds that are most in conservation concern, such as grassland nesting birds and shorebirds, avoid trees. So they just don't like the visual obstructions and they don't like a bird of prey sitting in the trees. So we take these out because these are the species that need the most help. And since there's trees all around Cheyenne Bottoms and in the towns, those birds that like trees, they're not being affected at all. They got plenty of habitat. But what's really neat is that when these trees were here, this one wetlands here, uh, never had any ducks, never had any cranes, no shorebirds. The next spring, after all these trees were cleared out, I was sitting up by the shop and watched two whooping cranes land in this wetlands. And, uh, and just this fall, when it was still full of water, lots of shorebirds and lots of ducks were using these wetlands. So trees are good, but not in wetlands and not in the native prairie.